Have you implemented e-commerce tracking in Google Analytics 4 or GA4, but are not seeing the revenue numbers in your GA4 reports? Then this video is for you. Even if you haven't yet implemented e-commerce tracking in GA4, but plan to do so in the future, then this video will help ensure that you do not make the same mistakes that the others have made. In this video, I will share three reasons why your GA4 reports do not show you the e-commerce revenue. But before we dive into the video, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss out on any new videos from me. So if you're ready, let's dive in. Here is an example of a tag that sends the purchase event to GA4. As you might already know, there are various parameters that need to be sent along with this event. All those parameters are listed in the screen in front of you. If you're not familiar with how to track GA4 e-commerce events or need in-depth knowledge about GA4 e-commerce tracking, then check the link in the description of this video. All the three reasons why your e-commerce reports don't show the revenue numbers are related to these event parameters. And in particular, the first two parameters are the ones that cause these issues. So the number one reason is not passing the currency parameter. This is a required parameter. So if you do not pass this, then your e-commerce reports won't work properly. The number two reason is passing the wrong value in the currency parameter. In this example here, I'm using the variables to pull the values from the data layer and pass to these parameters. In order for me to help you understand the issue, I am going to change these values from the data layer variables to static values. So let's go ahead and click here. And let's say my currency is Euro. In that case, I have seen many folks passing Euro as the currency. And that's the wrong value for this parameter. This parameter expects the value to be a three character code of the currency. So instead of Euro, you will type in EUR. Similarly, for US dollar, you will type in USD. For Indian rupees, you'll type in INR. So make sure you're passing the right currency code. That's your reason number two. The third reason is passing the currency symbol along with the value. So for example, if you need to pass $10, then you're passing USD here, but also passing dollar symbol here along with 10. And that's going to be a problem. Value parameter expects only the numeric portion of the transaction. So make sure to only pass the numeric part of the transaction value in this parameter. So those are your three main reasons why your GA4 reports do not show you the transaction values. In addition to these three reasons, there is a fourth reason or a tip for you that applies to all the events, not only just the e-commerce events. And that is the case of the parameter names. As you'll notice here, all the event parameters are listed in lowercase. And that is the right way to use these parameter names. If you accidentally type in the parameter name with a capital letter, then that's not going to work. So keep that in mind as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment for me. Also, don't forget to check the description of this video for the links to some free training. I will see you in the next video.